Hello everyone, let's play some Chess 960. I'm gonna take a bit tougher opponent this time. Let's see if I can make something happen. <clears throat> this should indeed be interesting. I have the normal plan, get the bishops developed or enable them to be developed, so... So far it should be quite okay. Uh, knight of 3... Yeah, sure. Seems logical enough. At least so far I should be able to be okay here. Should I play bishop to b4? Mm. Also I'm not sure what's the point of it. This is unless, well... Okay, maybe starting to... Uh, Well, it does prevent me from moving this pawn, and of course, uh, in order for me to castle, I need to make some room. I need to make um, <coughs> move this bishop, and uh, then perhaps play queen to d2, and then I can choose whether or not to castle long or short. I'm not really sure on which side I wanna castle. Perhaps I want to castle short, but um, it's not li really clear at the moment. <coughs> that seems a bit risky, maybe. I'm just thinking that this bishop might get in trouble, but I guess there's no easy way to trap it. Um, knight c5 and a4, but uh, even then seems a bit artificial. So maybe my opponent wants to go knight to C7, but even that doesn't seem all that good to me. <coughs> One option is to play here and, well, threaten that, but of course, in case my opponent is really 2100, that's like a very silly plan to play against. So, and just notice that. Queen d2 would maybe run into knight e4, which would certainly be annoying. So maybe I'd do this. Not necessarily with that, well. With the idea of bishop h3 check, but something else. Um, hmm. Hard to decide. I want to move this queen somewhere, but not sure where. Maybe queen e1, but then it's very hard to get. Queen out of the way, so maybe actually I have to make similar adjustments. I mean, Queen here, I guess, 
is what my opponent plans to do. Perhaps or rook here first, then queen here. I'm not convinced what I should do. Knight e5. Maybe. So that queen d2 is not that big of a problem anymore since I could, if I wanted to, take on e4 with the bishop. I mean, queen d2, knight e4, bishop takes e4. Of course, I don't want to take the bishop, but um, take with the bishop on e4, but. I may have to do that. One option is to play f3, maybe rock here, and then go for the e4, but um, Maybe that doesn't look appealing e either. Okay, queen c7. Mm. Now actually, queen here makes some sense. Threatens queen h6, perhaps. And... If the rook moves, then take on f7. Also, I'm prepared now to castle either way, so... Okay, he went that way, and maybe it's something I will do as well. I think castling long would be quite silly, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna castle sword. Play bishop to g2. Rook to e1 and... <coughs> try to do something there. It's not so clear what uh, the plan ought to be. It may have been easier when the if I had castled here, but it would have been quite risky to do so. Um, I think I want to do this so that I can <coughs> sorry so that I can finally move the e pawn. Okay, this move. Well, I just thought the knight takes e4. And maybe go with the knight c5. After I guess pawn takes, but bishop takes is possible too. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not that concerned about my opponent taking on b3. But also, I'm not really sure of the move I'm gonna make. Well, bishop g2, I guess. I kinda wanna... Well... And after, well, knight e4... Not really sure what to do there. It's not really easy. F3 and E4 now doesn't look all that promising. Well, a thing I would like to do because it um, weakens up the king position so much. My plan is very simple, if knight e4 I just take it, and this would hang if he takes back, so... But I guess knight e4 takes and takes here... Might be okay... For my opponent, so... <coughs> okay... Should I take it? Maybe I should. Otherwise, I'm in maybe a bit annoying position. And now e3 in order to stop d4 for a bit. I also want to move this pawn so that I can play knight to d2. Actually, I have to go to a4 with the pawn if I want to move it. If I go to a3, then this bishop might get trapped, and that's not a good thing. So maybe I play actually bishop c5 to bishop d4. If I can manage that, that would be awesome. That move is uh, made so that it threatens knight g4. So I kind of want to move my queen somewhere. Fortunately, I don't have all the many good squares. I guess I go to d2, but. But I guess again, if uh, knight e4, I just have to take it. Otherwise, I have two falls. Yeah. Well. But I assume my opponent will still go knight g4. Mainly because it's a bit problematic for me. I may need to play either f3 or f4. I'm likely to go f3 there if knight g4. Because it's a bit more flexible and it might allow me to play e4 later on. I 
I wonder, do I threaten knight d4? Threaten here, I mean, if it takes here, I play rook a1, threaten the bishop and then a rook at the same time. Should be good, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, good thing about this move is also that uh, I may be able to play bishop c3. Um, hmm. Maybe actually I play bishop c3 now. It does allow c5 though, so I'm not All that convinced that I should play that. Maybe I play here first and then play bishop to d4. No, actually. Now the threat is, I guess, knight e4. If takes pawn dex and the queen has to move somewhere. However, I can maybe play rook here so that knight e4 would be actually a bad move. Because I just take it, he can't take back because queen takes d8 check. So this might be a good one, good move to make. Of course, this is now undefended, but um, it doesn't matter, knight e4. Again, takes here, and if knight g4, f3. So I should be able to hold for now. Okay, that move, I think f3 is forced. Yeah, I don't see any other way to defend f2. So, this is the thing I have to do. I wonder though, after knight moves, can I just play e4 and be just much better? Of course, knight here would be a colossal mistake because of e4. Well, even there, up there, but then g4. No, takes here then. With the queen. But okay, yeah, that's... That seems quite weird. Um... <clears throat> wow, well... Uh, I'm gonna do this. I suppose. Defending this and attacking the rocks at the same time. However, I think I'm gonna lose some material now by force. Rook just goes here and I'm not sure what to do there. Your c5 will come at some point and then my knight has to move and well it isn't pretty but I guess if rook f6 
bishop c3, c5. I just play f4, but there it takes here, and uh, it doesn't look so good, to be honest. Maybe, however, the only choice I, I mean, chance I get, so I may have to do this. Okay, c5, anticipated that. Knight d5 doesn't work. I guess I'm gonna play F4 now. Um, or should I play that? Maybe I just move the knight away. F4 takes here. I kind of have to take. Well, I do get something back. Let's play F4. Why not? This is crazy, and I should not have played this, but whatever. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> At least there's some compensation here, maybe for the material lost. So... But maybe not that much, unfortunately. Not enough, I guess. But of course, taking here might have been even worse, so... Now that's an interesting move, for sure. Allowing me to capture here. Which I guess I have to do. Now that material is even. So somehow I managed to hang on there. Of course, rook e6 was bad. Knight to d7, for example, would have been okay. I'm not at all certain what my opponent wants to do here. Well, except for that, of course. I think I'm gonna play here, threaten the bishop away. I kinda wanna take there next, and then play takes here. I wonder if that actually works or not. So takes, rook takes, I guess. I mean, bishop goes somewhere, let's say. a6. Well, okay, he goes there. If I take, rook takes, and what then? Do I actually go for c4? with the idea that my opponent can't take because then I just take on d8 
So, alright, I think I will take here. Well, I guess the pawns are even. Oh yes, if bishop takes, then I play e4. It should be very bad for my opponent. Wow, didn't take it all. Which might be okay. I'm gonna play e4. My opponent might check, but I play king h1. Okay. Let's put the pressure on. And now if I just could get this pawn rolling up the board, that would be nice. I'm gonna take here. I guess rook takes here. Well... Uh, bishop here might be... Uh, bit risky I think I'm gonna do this offer the trade of queens and maybe just maybe do some nice stuff there mm. Uh, that doesn't look so promising. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I guess here, in order to play queen e6 check, which might seem good, but I guess now rook to e8. Oh, really? doesn't play that, fair enough, maybe, well, I'm not so worried, I could take here and then f1 is covered enough times so that there's no problem there, however, the problem might be on the first rank, well, second rank. Okay, now things should be all right for me. Now I should trick my opponent a bit but okay didn't go for it I would have wanted to play that check but fair enough this might be a draw actually I'm not Well, I'm gonna lose that pawn now. Or not. Well, let's play here. It's tough to make good moves here. this bishop or should I even uh, move that I guess I'm gonna go here I should have actually gone to f2 but why did I 
I do that? Actually, I saw that. Didn't care for it. Was a bad idea. Bad, bad idea. This should be drawn now, I think. I have to take here, he takes there. I'm gonna go with the king here. I'm gonna offer a draw, why not? And yeah, it's a... Uh, And yeah, well played. Wonder seems like a good player for sure. And yeah, let's look at this game a bit. Uh all right, so opening explorer and table base. Um G three by far the most common move. Uh, G6 also the most common. But okay with D4 I played the fourth most common move. Interestingly enough Knight B3 is the most common here. I wonder why. I mean, the knight could go to b3 at any time, so I would think that d4 is much more important here, but I might be wrong. Average rating 1862 and 1949. No, I wonder what's the average rating here. Wow. So a bit lower rate players choose to play d4. <laughs> I wonder what why that is. So d4 and then d5 again. Most common move then knight b3. And this might actually go to the lines where white plays knight b3 on the second move and uh, hmm. knight to f6 played in three games before this black scores quite well here Um, interestingly enough, and knight f3, wow, I chose the only move where white has actually won the game, so, <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, and bishop b5. And now with bishop b4 went out of the previously played moves. Uh, but maybe it's a good thing because bishop g2 has been very favorable for black. But yeah, okay, this Let's see, knight b3, just for the fun of it, uh, knight f6, knight f3, bishop g7. Hmm. Why play d3, I wonder, to prevent this guy from going 
to e4, but or actually prepare e4 maybe. So in that case, d3 might be a good move, but. Um, Seems to me a bit weird. Let's see, D queen D three, D five. Now this sort of stuff I would have wanted to play in my game too, but um, because the bishop came here earlier, it prevented me from doing that. So That was probably a good idea to play bishop b5. Let's see. Okay. Now bishop b5. So. It's interesting. Queen d3 here might not be a good idea at all. And like I thought during the game, it was very hard to get the queen to a good square at the start. I mean, and also <clears throat> getting uh, castled was very tricky. And this knight e5 move seems to be something that. White did in this game too, so but I don't know. Queen d2, knight e4. I think I've seen this sort of idea before. When I looked some other game there was a similar idea in a chess 960 game. In which one actually sacrificed the queen for some reason while plundered, I guess. And the other one just take the uh, knight. But yeah, okay. I think that's it for now. And thank you all for watching. Bye bye.